right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the Ledger Cast. As always, my name is Scott Kane, and I'm Matt Hooks. And today we're going to be playing a new game. I guess I could characterize it as an independent game uh, called Hollow Knight. Uh, just heard about this game. Uh, not familiar with it in any meaningful capacity, but I was so impressed by some of the reviews that came out uh, surrounding it, and maybe more specifically, the uh, impressive uh, accolades that were received by a video game donkey, which I really enjoyed. So we wanted to uh, kind of get in here and see what all the big fuss and muss was about. Right? Yeah, it looks like uh, kind of an interesting RPG-esque platformer. Yeah, something like that. We'll see. Um, not really sure in terms of... Uh, how the controls are going to work here. I've got my Steam controller set up, but we might have to quit and like re-enter the game here. Sometimes the Steam connectivity is very bizarre, and I'm not really sure why that is, but we're going to we're going to do the best that we can. So, yeah, what I know about this game is that it's a platformer. It's well received. Okay. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really cool actually. Uh, like a lot of other really fantastic, uh, you know, games with good scores or sound designs, this is another game that offers a discounted purchase of the um of the, the uh, soundtrack of the soundtrack yeah. along with it which is kind of nice right yeah uh so we'll get this started as soon as we can i got to make sure again that my steam controller is working correctly here it's a little frustrating sometimes i have to deal with these technical difficulties there we go yeah, we should be all set here um so we're go kind of going into this blind yeah, um which is great i think that's a, a good way to, to just jump right in you know well i mean grinding out overwatch for the 25th consecutive session you know <laughs> as enjoyable as that is i think maybe it's good to play a new game every i am so. just waiting until we start casting mggo so oh yeah okay, i can't wait can't wait <laughs> our, um, our mad drafting skills well we have had a little bit of a, a, a sabbatical from the ledger cast i think it's been maybe about two months three months yeah a little while actually maybe, since we've since we've gone on here yeah and in that time period uh I've done so much to corrupt you and to ruin your life in terms of... Uh, I told you, I'm going to go pro eventually. Right, yeah. So, anyone who knows me knows that I love Magic the Gathering, and I recently infected Matt with that same... Not just anyone, everyone who knows you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I infected Matt with that same fascination. So we might get some MTGO going so. on in the future. I think, uh, maybe, maybe not for Amaket, but maybe the next uh, set that comes out, sure. Hour of Devastation, Hour in of July, Devastation coming uh, in July, once I'm back from China. Yeah, you're start, traveling quite yeah. a bit. You got a trip to North Carolina, a trip I do. to China. Yep, I'm going to teach some uh, improv and film in North Carolina, and then the same in China. Right. Um, I mean, exciting times for Matthew Hooks over here. Okay, so we're going to do our crap here. In fact, I'm just going to skip over this because I don't really yeah, care. Yeah, brightness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't much care for those settings. That always really gets you right immersed in the game. Gets when, you, know, you, you have to adjust some settings. Gets you straight revved, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got a, a start. We got some text going on here. Lord knows I ain't going to read that. Um, I guess we'll say we have a name that is associated with reverence and regret. None could tame our savage souls. LG4, Hollow Nest, by Monoman the Teacher. I'm sure this will be on the test Mon. later. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know if this is relevant or not. I'm, I'm kind of in this to play largely just kind of a simple platformer. Although it does look to be expertly set up in terms of a uh, yeah, just watching aesthetic the, style or whatnot. Yeah, and also just watching the trailer, it seemed like it was had some kind of cool mechanics going on. Yeah. Um, another thing is that this is actually a little bit reminiscent of the game that they call the, the Amber Throne. Uh, in that it's obviously a pretty low-budget passion project of an indie studio that seems to put as much effort as a low-budget indie Man, studio. Yeah, can. I was gonna say this is low-budget. Like, right? We're, we've come a long way. It's a, it's a wonderful part of the, the 21st century, the digital mm -hmm. publishing revolution. You know, people can have a vision and get it out there for folks to watch for almost uh, no hassle at all. Speaking of low-budget indie games, my a couple friends of mine uh, just released a game called Tumble Seed recently for Nintendo Tumble Switch, Seed. and I believe also the relevant PC related uh, platforms that you can download games on. Okay. Any, any relationship to the popular uh, live blogging uh, site Tumblr? No. No? <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe now that it's released, it has a lot of uh, fodder. I would say that people might might uh, uh, do some shipping, you know, with some, some of the characters in the game. <laughs> I mean, if you build it, they will ship it, right? Um, okay, so I think this is our protagonist here. Yeah, we're some sort of skeleton knight. Yeah, he's a hollow knight, if you will. Pretty cool looking dude. Uh, let's see if we can grow. All right, so no falling damage. That's already, I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know, is it going to let us move? I don't think so. Uh, Are we having what we call control issues here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, frustrating, right? Okay. Well, well, maybe we can do this from an options menu or something. Yeah. Controller. 
Okay. Well, yeah, that's what we're trying to get. That's what I'm going for here. I don't understand why it would let me start this thing off uh, with with the gosh darn uh, controller, but now take it away from me. You're kind of killing me here, Hollow Knight. Um, what do you think, man? Well, I mean, it does seem like the keyboard is working. Right. Why don't we go for that? That'll yeah. Be fine. Let's see if we can just figure out what buttons do what. Okay. Uh, looks like Z is jump, mm -hmm. X is fight. There you go. That's good enough for now. Yeah. I think we got it pretty much well sorted at this point. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm already in love with this game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh goodness. Shit. That beetle is giving you the what for all there. Okay. So we pick oh, up you're some picking sort of, up stuff. It's like some sort of scarab treasure. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be real embarrassed if I can't uh, just do the jumping thing. Ooh, right? I, I would bet that those fireflies are gonna help us by lighting the way. Yeah, get out of here, scarab. Nested scarab. Um, okay, got some jumping, got some platforming. I like it. Keyboard is not my preferred way of playing platformers. Yeah, I know, and it's frustrating because I had the controller working just one oh, second. Oh man, I already love these just destroy everything. Ooh, oh, go. it's glowing. Interact. <sighs> Oh yeah. Hard beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats which of which others can only dream. Huh. Okay, so hold A to focus on soul and heal. Uh, collect soul by striking enemies. Oh, okay, so that's the currency that mm. we're getting. Okay. Once enough soul is collected, we can heal. Okay. Uh, so it looks as though in the upper left-hand corner there, you've got... There you go. Yep. See? Okay, cool. So that, that's like your meter. Yep. You know? Soul that. meter. James Brownometer. <laughs> I got so. Okay. Let's give this guy. Yeah. There are barnacles here that we want. We want those barnacles. Don't know why. Definitely want them. Getting past this. No. Well, um, I'm already kind of in love with light as a resource. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. And our little bunny fellow looks pretty dope. What are we doing over here? Oh, we got a flying scarab. Probably also an enemy. There you go. Yeah. yeah, and I saw your soul meter did go up okay, while cool. you while you were slaying those monsters. Yes. Oh hell yeah. Alright, that doesn't look like a fucker to fall into. No. This is terrible. Mess up. Oh, oh get, get. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna fall straight into it. Right after announcing though. Poor idea. Falling into it. Oh shit. Oh yes. there he is. Oh man. They're just coming right at you. So here's a, that's a little bit of a conventional break. Uh, most times in a platformer, if you get struck by an enemy, you have a brief moment of like invulnerability or something. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, that thing. Uh, the the lag tight. I think. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's tight to the ones on the top. Yeah. Um, but in most platformers, when you're struck by an enemy, you have a moment of okay, invulnerability gonna, that yeah, follows okay, you. Okay, so I'm gonna. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cool. So it it you can heal like one at a time, I guess. Ooh. Yeah. Looks like it takes a second to heal though, it's not an instant thing. Yeah. Which is good, you kind of have to get your composure. Uh, yeah. So we're kind of hopping around. Oh shit. Struggling with these platforms. Oh my god, this keyboard is not, not working well with me. I know, we might have to do a reboot once we get to our first save point and yeah. see if we can get the, uh... Okay, here we oh, go. what is this? A little sack of viscous loot. Lift it. Oh, uh, just get it all. Get it. I don't know what it is. There... Oh, okay. oh! Got like a little bonus, uh, bonus life meter going on. I mean, that's my read on it too, is like we have temporary health above and beyond the, uh, the five that we yeah, start with. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be what it is. Well, let's just make sure to squander that as quickly as possible. <laughs> let's just... I just want to give it to the scarabs, you know? You know, Matthew Hooks loves giving it to just about anything. <laughs> Alright, scooching into the next room. Breaking in all the things. Yeah, alright, so oh, we... Shit. Ooh! Spicy. Can we go back up? Is there like a double jump or something? Is there a triple jump? <laughs> um, okay. Now, okay, I'm gonna make some preliminary aesthetic oh, observations. Oh, mm. Matthew. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Well, are you going? I'm just gonna jump into a pit over and over again. Okay. Okay. Preliminary aesthetic observations include uh, luminosity as a kind of a big cue. You seem to be spending most of your time in like a cave right now, right? Yeah. So light as a resource is a thing. Ooh, more instructions. Okay. Step across the threshold and obey our laws. Okay. Hollow nest. Okay, so this appears to be telling us that we're going to find a boss or something. Probably a threshold or something. Right? We should heal before we in there. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. I like it. 
looks, it appears that the, the little camera on the top left uh, lights up. We actually are incapable of doing this. No, we can do it. We can do it. Okay. So we're gonna hug this wall just in case. No. Good observation. No fall damage. Alright, now. There's a street lamp. Seems a little out of place. We are in a, a quasi urban Dirt area mouth. Right now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's my nickname. That's what my mother called me when I was growing up. <laughs> I said, "Yo, no, no, two girls. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no. Elder bug. Okay. Scary. That bench is luminous. Okay, so that's more or less the same point, I'm, I'm guessing. Who well, doesn't love a good sit on a park bench, right? Yeah. Good, yeah, good for you. For our mapping supplies, will be open soon. Is Zelda and Cornifer. Fanciful names, huh? So we're in some type of town. You wonder if we'll come back. Oh, I did not see that coming. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll end up back there and, when, and then eventually we'll be able to get some sort of map. The term, the terminology, well, is that a pub town? Pub right? town, yep. Interesting piece of historical anecdote, uh, or interesting piece of historical trivia, uh, Boston was pejoratively referred to as the hub during the revolutionary uh, era of the United States of America. Why pejorative? Uh, because they were so obsessed with themselves that other places, they, they consider themselves so important, and Boston was a teeming metropolis at the time, Yeah. that the rest of the colonies would refer to it as the hub of the universe in kind of a, you know, kind of mocking pejorative way. Kind of similar to the Windy City. Uh, okay. Chicago enjoyed that, sure. that nickname. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't really think about it, but it's like hot air, you know. That's like exactly right. You know. Yeah. Most people, I think, presume that the Windy City nickname comes from uh, weather patterns. Chicago gets extremely average windiness. It is exacerbated by the, our enormous building stones. So. Okay. But the Windy City comes from uh, during our startup era as a city. We were very boisterous and proud. And so all those people in Cleveland and other commonly forgotten great lakes. Metropolis is considered okay. a skew bluster. Okay, so that's, that guy's just sobbing. I guess. Yeah, I don't see anything else in this room though. He does look pretty sad. I, I guess these are like his friends and family that lived in his little pods. Aww. He's he suffered loss. And I wonder why he's the only one left. Uh, maybe some video game exposition. Oh. If only I could interact with him. Like expectations. Right? Yeah, it's almost weird if you can't double jump these days. Right. Uh, not something that you would have gotten in a, a, a proto platformer game, but it's sort of just expected. I'll tell you, my man Sanic, he didn't double jump. He didn't need it. He didn't need it. Oh, falling down. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Very pretty game. It looks a little. Uh, so, I, so I wanted to talk. One of the reasons that I wanted to play this game. Uh, I like platformers plenty, but they're not exactly my favorite type of game. I just have been noticing all these fantastic indie adventure platformers that are coming out. Uh, Owlboy, Shovel Knight, mm -hmm. Hollow Knight, mm -hmm. I guess to some extent Fez and Hyper Light Drifter would fall into that category. And you know, indie might be stretching it for some of those titles, but the idea is that a relatively small group of passionate and creative people have the resources and tools to publish this stuff, and I just, I, I'm in love with it, man. This is it. Yeah. Germany in the 15th century. Oh! I will listen. Oh, done. Shut sort of Scrivener. Yes. Yeah. Don't mind me. Oh, okay, so this must be one of the mappers. I like it. Yes. Yeah, I would. that's fine. <laughs> So what do, you, what do you think that we're giving him here? Are these scarab shells? What are we doing? Yeah, it appears to be like just the Rocks? Like, detritus from yeah. the from the monsters we've been killing. Okay, here, detail right. map. Probably Rocks some attack. garbage. Choco, let's get it. Peace. Okay. Compass. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, cute. Is that, it's almost like ASCII art at present. Yeah, 
so I guess I guess we'll get more detail. Like, also look at the animation. He's like looking at it. He's looking at it. That is so cute. What a small thing. Right? Okay, so I can't quite tell where we are. I guess we might. I bet that would be the information that the compass would give. Yeah, I guess we went down to the left. So it looks like there's a room to the left of us. Okay, so we may still be needing to go down. Let's turn that map up one more time. Oh, oh, good, good not to fall there. Okay. Yeah, so I think we just fell down on that left hand side. So you think so? Yeah, let's turn it over here so we got. Oh, is this guy friend or foe? Friend. 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 Definitely a foe. Or binary way of looking at the world. Murder like, everything. You're either gonna give me a map or I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two things is gonna happen. Okay, this guy looks pretty nasty. Ooh, he's got some type of like, hammer. Ooh. Okay, so he's gonna burp some dudes. Oh, the voice acting in this is of the, I guess what I'll call this level. Okay, read some sort of little dude. Love it. That's great, right? That's so great, I, great. I feel like, oh, jeez. I'm just gonna die. Um, okay, so I guess those are like little helper friends. Maybe he'll show back up at the hub town. Hmm. Yeah, some type of collectible, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so I think we went to the left. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, continue to the right. It looks like there's a boss of some sort. If we go all the way to the right, yeah, that does seem to be what it's indicating, right? Yeah, let's, some... let's go over there. Uh, I'm gonna make an analogy to Metroid really quickly. Oh, okay. Just feel like the old Super Nintendo Metroid. Right? I mean, there's even some, just some basic like uh, it kind of looks like. Can you wall jump? Let's see if you can wall jump. It seems like you should be able to get up there. Uh, let's uh, check out that uh, option screen. Maybe there's some control cues in there that we missed. Um, controller, or, okay. Backer credits, achievements. Oh, wait, this is the thing that we can't play on. Great. Right. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. a keyboard one now, so let's see. Up, down, left, right. Yep, that makes sense. Super dash is S. Ooh. Attack is X. Dream nail. Dream nail. That sounds kind of cool. Quick cast, inventory. Oh, inventory. Let's see what the inventory looks like. Old nail. Oh, oh okay, so that's the weapon that we're yeah, so okay. Focus is our current like badge of some sort. It appears as though we have two key items that are not present. Ah, okay. So this is the this is the like sort of larger scale map, map that we've got going on. So we're at the Forgotten Crossroads right now. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So looks like we can't do any of the other special moves yet. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that stuff. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Cool. Yeah. Oh, get the barnacles. Oh, fuck me. No. I should have bought me an electric pen. I think she'd have a lot. She should definitely. She's hard to bust the barnacles. Yeah, so we definitely want to pick up all this. Uh... Oh, okay. That's a weird throwback to my Sega Genesis wow, days. Man. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I think, did they make a second one of those? Earthworm Gen? Yeah. I, I, maybe? I don't know. I feel like they, they, they made one more recently than Sega Genesis, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Um, they just became a totally different Earl for some reason. I feel like Very different games, games though. though. Yeah, different games. Similar era, I but, guess. Yeah, but around the same time. Okay, so Ooh, that's rich with Barnacles. Unknown, place. unknown stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, go back up, go back up to that list. See if you can go left. Oh, I, I oh, thought that's, yeah, that's right. Okay. Ooh, girl, what are we doing? Take him out. Yeah, you got him.
You're a little low on health and you got full soul. I got soul. Oh well that didn't do that didn't do what I wanted it to. Uh, net, net zero gain. <laughs> Ooh, you're so close. Good dodge. Yeah, do you think, um, do you think that we're in, I think that we are in an era of self-publishing of video games analogous to the post-Gutenberg Bible Germany kind of thing? <laughs> it may, the, maybe I'm the dressing it up. The presses little. of uh, Steam or Right, something. yeah, exactly. The Steam presses. Yeah. Um, it's an exciting time to be alive and, uh, uh you know, shut it in your own home. Oh, man, it's never been easier. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Um, we're hopping around. You got a lot of barnacles now. Yeah, 159. I feel like oh, we'll be able to... Oh, heal up, because, see, your soul meter is full. Ah, right. If, we don't, if we don't do it in between battles, then uh, we so run the risk of wasting it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like there's some... There must be some... Ooh. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Uh, there must be some thing we don't have yet that is probably enough yeah. to, to get over to that well, side. I think there was a dash. Do you want to look at that up in the control thing? Yeah, let's take a one more look at that. All right, super dash. How, how about we try that one? So S D F. Yeah, let's see what those do. Okay. S D F must not have been unlocked. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that we'll get that post haste. Well, yeah, and, and you know what? That's that is an interesting thing. Uh, video games are great. Don't get me wrong. But I think that uh, in terms of like preparing us for life or whatever, they definitely do overemphasize priming you on every possible skill that you would use to solve a problem. That's never really happened to me in life. Oh, okay. It just doesn't occur. You know, the rest over here. There you go. Okay, so that appears to just be a nice little safe point. Oh, yeah, bring up that map. Maybe we can identify this room. Nope. Uh, I mean, not it's. Not good. I, if I had to venture a guess, I'd say we're directly underneath the boss right now. See how the room to the bottom left of the boss has like a little bit of an opening <laughs> yeah, okay. in that direction. Um, and then we gotta go continue underneath this to the right. Well, I'm gonna trust you on this one. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, is that a wide? No, I don't think so. Alright. Um, too bad Jay is in here. This is a little bit like spooky. I guess in this subterranean. Oh, whoa! You. Take a little stash right here, man. Yeah. Give me some particles. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that the corpses of the enemies don't seem to disappear, they just kind of lay around. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, ah, I don't know, Matt. <laughs> have, have we determined if another episode has a Rick and Morty? Uh, no, they released the name, but the dates. Uh, We're referencing Rick and Morty. Uh, a little hand physically. Uh, anyone who What are you talking about? Those are wonderful uh, impressions that we're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyone who's a fan of the show is probably aware. That's season three, which has taken some amount of time to come out. Well, it's an animated show. So it, it, how how surprised can you be? Didn't it take exactly as long as they said exactly, it was Exactly. Maybe even a year and a half! Yeah. <laughs> so they had their first episode on April Fool's, which I thought was kind of clever. It's a very reverent show to begin with, so why not, right? Um, but then it didn't follow up with anything, so we're just kind of a, you know, out in the oh, wild right now. We don't... Oh, so there's a very brief period of vulnerability, I guess. Yeah, for a moment. It's good to know that these guys don't just immediately destroy you, although they look like they probably should. They should, yeah. It's like, and see, like, maybe you could jump on them to get another ability. Okay. Well, oh, signpost saying going up and to the right. Is that what it's saying? Looks like that's gonna chop it. <laughs> gonna fucking chop it. Fuck knowledge! Okay. Oh, uh, we have a dragon sign. Oh, uh, do you see that? It's indicating to the left that there's like some type of foreign blizzard or, or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. go in there. We get to find it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You really brought in the same set of values that you brought to Hyper Light Drifter to this game. Which of, is uh, fuck, fuck skeletons. Fuck skeletons. Yeah. Acquire yeah. cubes. Acquire, yeah, acquire bits. <laughs> okay. 
the music's just definitely uh, uh, heel point. I wonder. Yeah. This could be prompt. Okay, so oh, definitely following the the standard tropes. Ooh, let's see. Oh, okay. sure. Geo. That's what we got. Okay. They're not barnacles. I'm gonna call I mean barnacles. So I saw barnacle by any other name. Right. I saw an icon in the. Lo Ooh, hit that bell. <laughs> Love it. Oh. 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 Holy crap. Yes. Man. We, we out here. We got a ride. Greetings, little one. The last stag. Presumably stag beetle. <laughs> oh, touche. There you go. Uh, it echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. There you go. Stagways reach the depths of the hollow nest. If you want to travel them, hail, to, hail me to the platform. I will take you where you need to. <gasps> okay. Oh, yeah. So maybe we can take him back to Dirt or whatever that's called. Yeah. We gotta get that. We we're gonna get that compass. That's what we gotta do. Oh, maybe I gotta. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay, so, so this... the first of many little city areas. Here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to Dirtmouth and see if we can buy a compass. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can find that dude's wife. Oh, dude. Oh, this is incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> oh, elevator. Fully spicy chicken right now, or do you I need one more? I feel great. I gotta, okay. I gotta tell you the truth. Official meal of the Ledger cast is unquestionably three chili chicken. Three chili chicken. Oh, yes. the rye. Yeah, so that's the dude that okay. we Oh, yeah, it looks like we got this. I think we're open for business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me get that compass, girl. <sighs> Bye for nada. <laughs> oh, I was gonna mention this. It's really my husband you should be dealing with. Yeah. But what a surprise. He's headed down below. The uh, It's always an effective thing when people, in, in video game design, when you use. The, the phonemes of a voice, of a speaking voice, without using language. It allows you to port well, and you don't have to record as much crap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got quite a bit. So we need 220 for the wayward compass. Yeah. Uh, pinpoint your location, help with finding bearings in unfamiliar locations. You need this if you want to update your map with new areas you explore. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Bench pen. These pens will mark benches. Oh, okay. oh, okay, so we're buying things that actually affect our map. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got. Cocoon pen. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? Pretty but very delicate, please be careful. Vendors, Stagway. Okay. That's Hot Springs. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I think we I think we saw one of them. I don't know if we could interact with it yet. Okay. So oh yeah, that might have been the glowing uh, pool that we Yeah, it looks like we only have enough money for one thing. I feel like this quill is probably best. It's essential for anyone who's serious about mapping. Let's go and do that. And let's check our inventory. That actually work. <sighs> I don't think you bought it. Uh, there we go. Just hit the wrong button. Alright. That was broke. Time to open up a line of credit. <laughs> yeah. That's that's available. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? I think that's the stag beetle that we just Oh okay, right, right, right. So okay. we can take it back if we need. Let's uh let's go talk to this guy yeah, see if we have any stuff. Thing to say. What up, bro? Badaula. So this is much more uh, accurate Detailed, now, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. And is that the result of the item that you just purchased? I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, it didn't mark the bench, but I think. Um... Look at the animation quality here, though. This is just fantastic. It's one of those things that it's just you can't fake interest so like this. You know, the passion. It's so it. thorough. You know, it just really looks like a world. You would probably understand the language of theater. <laughs> Look at that beetle running. <laughs> uh, just there's like a coherency to the, uh, to the animation style here. Just kind of works. This is gonna have to air I think that saves um, in the lower left-hand corner. There. Ooh. Okay. okay so okay, this is much more detailed now. Okay. So we have the guy, the sad guy in the upper left. <gasps> yes, that's our sad friend. Yeah. Okay. So I, I guess the stag beetle is a thing in the middle. That's where we're at. Do you think? Oh, right. yeah, go to the left. See, it kind of looks like him. Yeah, it looks it looks very And plus, this is a long hallway that we're running through, right? Yeah, yeah, so that feels pretty good. Okay, so we basically know where we are then. I kind of like that it doesn't just tell you exactly where you are. Like, you have sure. to, like, do stuff. 
I did watch an interesting video discussing Breath of the Wild, which, for all none of our fans out there, I will be dedicating a Ledger Cast episode to Breath of the Wild eventually. Oh, man. Did you see somebody, uh, like, hacked it and created essentially, like, a Gary spot for it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so you can just spawn monsters and all kinds of shit. Not these mod. It looks, yeah, right. It looks really cool, actually, to be able to just fuck around with the game. Uh, I mean, ooh, uh, that's, a, that's a big boy. Okay, I'm gonna go down. You gonna boop him on the head, or you gonna... He's like a magic thing. Yeah. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Magic is so good at pattern. Big ones obviously give you a little bit more. Okay. I put us up to just shy of 100. I think we should prioritize the the item that they primed us to care about, which is the compass, which costs 220, I believe. Look at this nerd. Yeah, we definitely need a compass. It's gonna be the thing that gets us around the best. Oh, that's a new guy. Jumper. Okay. Um, I was going to make a comment about mini maps and information mm -hmm. and the relationship of exploration. Uh, to relate it to Breath of the Wild, perhaps? Yeah, and uh, I was watching a video where they were essentially talking about how a lot of games with mini maps uh, really shoot themselves in the foot because the most relevant information for solving the problem in front of you is always given to you on the mini map. Yes. And then because of that, what do you do? You look at the mini map. You don't even look at 90% of the screen, which is the actual game experience. You look at some tiny like little map in the corner. And I think the Breath of the Wild accomplishes this phenomenon extremely well. Yes. By essentially allowing you to plot short points, but not giving you too much information. Oh, shit! False knight! with that mace hand, let me tell you that. Oh, okay. Oh, but they've already set you up for this, because this guy's analogous to the dude you just fought. You know, you already know the rules here. Right? Whoa! Probably not. Ah! Ah! You got some shockwave attack, you got some jump attack, that's the big hammer. Yeah, that's... Oh! Fucking nailed it. Did you already get him? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Okay. So he's got a few uh, different ones I have a feeling. Yeah, that is gonna be Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, good mid battle heal. Yeep! Good run. This guy's got it, but I can do it. Okay, now he's dropping the like, ceiling projectile. Yeah, I can do one more new thing. Okay. Wow, that was a good 
kind of shit and all sorts of orange all over us. Alright, let's inspect. City crest. Okay. I want barnacle, but I'm gonna tell you that right now. What barnacles do we have? Uh, that was interesting. I like how it changed the uh, environment that we're fighting yeah, in. Yeah, a little, a little bit of a oh. break from the Mega Man convention of the square room with the boss in it, right? Oh, Whoa! Oh, baby. Got Big all sorts of barnacles. Okay, all so right, that, that puts us over. Now. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got over Let's here. Let's bring up that map. Maybe it updated. Oh. Uh, well, it sort of tells us where we have been. I don't... Yeah. I can't quite tell where we are based on that, though. Very curious. Very strange. Um, to get back to maybe the point about Breath of the Wild or mapping or mini-maps generally, this game is interesting because it makes you really want that extra information. It doesn't just give it to you. Yeah. And I think any time that you can get a player interested in knowing more about the game that they're playing, you're doing something good compositionally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or, or even just paying attention to the game and not the system surrounding the game. Right. Sorry, it just looked like one of those. Wall. Just looked like one of those walls that you can fuck up. Ooh, what do we got? Maybe more bosses. We also unlocked something downstairs. Ooh, got a chair. Okay, let's rest. Okay. Map updated. So let's see what it says now. Yeah. Okay. So. It seems like we have to enter a rest state to start drawing on our map. I you see. Know what I okay. Mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's almost like he, he takes the time to. Right. It's not a heal state down. because if that happened during the battle, we would have done nah, it. No. 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 Looking grim. Snail shaman. Love it. I do need your help. Ooh. Got a like spell it. going on here. I like it. When on in man. <laughs> All right, jump. Whoa! <laughs> Our cosmic feed its feed on its power. Ooh, vengeful spirit. Okay, so tap A to unleash the spirit. Soul will defeat. I suppose will defeat soul. So soul, soul is our general things. resource here that we're using for right. a lot of things. Hey, snail guys here. Looks like you took us back to the bedroom. Well, I don't know where we are. <laughs> oh shit. We went into a minor coma. Yeah. Okay. Slaying beast is kind of what It's a hardy thing. creature. Alright, so let's throw some spells at people. Can we do that or what? Yeah, so I'm gonna just fire one off. Wow! Ah! Okay. So it uses about a third, maybe a quarter of the source. I believe that healing yourself took a third as well. Vengeful spirit. What a title. Okay, so this, we're now in that place on the map that we uncovered by uh, updating our map. Oh. What is that crap? Oh, nerd. Um, are the walls here all skulls? Am I am I mistaken about yeah, that? Yeah, they appear to be the skulls of uh, previously slain. Yeah, bats. some uh, Parisian catacombs kind of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of shamanistic kind of stuff going on. Yeah. I don't hate it. I dig it. Oh. Uh, give me a sweet, sweet. Beat. So you're very high on soul, so I would heal when you have a move. Oh shit. There you go. Ooh, you got spikes over there, so watch out. Vengeful spirit him. Baby's on spikes. There you go. So don't jump. No problem. Piece of cake. Piece of good on the cake. There you go. <laughs> okay, so that kills things much quicker than our, uh, our little. Then your rusty nail? Yeah, yeah. go figure. You know. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I want the double jump. That's what I want right it's now. It's coming. And I also oh. want the ability to move. Okay, you are low on health now. Do you see that? Yeah. So let's maybe do a heal. Very nice. about half back. I'm gonna hit one more heal. Yep, I think that's wise. Relentless. <laughs> yeah. Relentless. It's alright. Going down. Whoa! Big dude. Great crap. 
spread it. We've oh, already geez. seen like so many different types of bad guys, right? Which is yeah. Pretty awesome. There you go. Exactly. Wonderful. Carnival party. Ooh, what's this? Soul okay. catcher. Equip a charm to activate powerful abilities. I will do so. Equip a charm. Open the charms menu while resting at a bench. There you go. Let's get a bench going sometimes. Okay. So I think we got one nearby. We can probably go down to break that floor. Yeah, this is where we came. Sail. Oh, oh my cool. Do you wanna do you wanna hop in so we can get get some some playtime? Yeah, I think so. I wanna get the controller figured out because that's an enormous okay. bother to me. Alright, let me go hit this bench really quick. Let me hit this bench. Sound like me at the gym. <laughs> I can bench one hundred and fifty uh, barnacles. <laughs> okay. Alright. Open the charms menu. Okay. Draw All right, soul. these are because our passive soul. abilities. Okay, I think. excellent. I will equip that. Yeah, and we've got two notches now. All right. I don't know what that means, but I like it. I, more notches, more better. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, why don't we do this? We're gonna go quit to menu. I think it's been auto saving for us. Yeah. Progress will be saved. We're sitting on a bench, and uh, what we're gonna do is switch over to this beautiful picture of Matt and I's face while I try to figure out whether or not we can load this successfully. With the controller reacting to it, how does that sound? I think, you know, it's only reasonable that we should be able to figure this out. I know. I have three degrees. Although, yeah, <laughs> yeah right, yeah. I've got, a, I've got a couple under my belt as well, so between the two of us. Let's see it. One right. of mine is technical, too, so I hope that that uh, means that we can figure this out. Okay. Um, so first impressions about the game, though, what do you think? I, I mean, the art is obviously gorgeous. Yeah, I'm um, a big fan. The controls will hopefully be more uh, conducive on the actual controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, w I will say, like, once I got the hang of it, like, I was destroying those bosses without really having uh, much play under my belt. So I felt like I, I feel competent when playing it. That's always a good sign when, like, the control scheme feels like you're actually controlling the character. And That's there's right. no latency, there's no, like, inherent, like, weirdness about like movement or anything like that right one thing that's a little weird is that uh the weapon will push you back when you hit a monster huh. and so i guess that's sort of just a randomization element um that makes it so you can't just sit there and like swing a bunch of times you actually have to like you know be a little bit more on on point as, as far as control goes well this is a game that respects the newtonian laws of physics right and every yeah. action has an equal and opposite yeah reaction. exactly um as well so, uh, that also just speaks to, to a greater sense that there's a physical or a physics engine yeah here, yeah right? a heft to it right a feeling yeah, to yeah. It, yeah. there's right? there's yeah. there's gravity there's uh there's right. momentum so as we can see and the ledger cast cannot see this but we can okay it appears to be working out <laughs> right and i'm gonna just see if i can get in this game and then switch over without it losing. That's the plan. Let's see. Cross your fingers, guys. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm jumping around. Okay. So now we have to switch over to make sure that everybody at home can see us here. And let's see. Yeah, oh, all right. Okay. Now we're, we're, now we're, out we're picking here. my guess. We're out here. Okay. X is attack. A is jump. B is something. Something, something. Uh, yeah, look up the, um, the souls uh, thing. Okay. We're going to do that. So we're going to go to controller. I got my inventory, select. I got my pause menu, start. I got my super dash, I like that. Quick uh, map. Focus and cast, I believe, is the... Okay, focused and cast are good. Right, so that so, so the spell map. that we currently have equipped is the blast, and then the focus is what heals us. Right. Okay, but we don't have any soul at present, do we? Correct. Okay, so I can't even do that stuff. Do you wanna, so if we the direction of the monster we should buy. Oh, there's a guy. So I have some soul now. Oh, actually. There we go. Okay. And if I hold this down, I'll heal, right? right. Same button. Oh, wait. No this, no, this was, in fact, what it was. Right. Yeah, well, I don't think you need to fucking tell me your opinion. <laughs> so why don't you think about that? Okay. I know all about that. And we can bring up our map here. Yeah. I like that you can move with the map, too. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so we're in the Ancestral Mound. So let's go to the left okay. and see if we can go back out to either where the stag is or maybe where that map, the cartographer dude was. I like the way you think, man. I like the way you think. Can I sleep on your bed? Ran on in, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, you don't need anything more from us? You need to use us to destroy that monster? Yeah. Is that that's, all we are we, uh, we, we got something out of it, too. Okay, so we just unlocked something down to the left. So if you fall down over there, um, I think that's the exit, basically. There was like a switch that we um, 
Over here? Yeah, down that direction. Okay. We out here. And then around to the right and to the left. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that, we, that, that was a little switch that we had. And okay. unlocked that. So I, I believe there was one uh, that opened the door. Oh, up. cassette tape. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, oh, okay, so that's he, where that dude was. He has gone back to the town. Okay. I understand it. I get it. Um, Let's slow out. Um, um, so I guess we can just jump back up. Flying. Okay, yeah, this is probably much more fun to play on a controller. I imagine it's much. Ah! I'm still bad at it! <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier to fall all the way down this long particle. Quite, quite you. <laughs> no! <laughs> as, is, as is evidenced by Scott's wonderful player. Right, yeah. I'm just as good at this as I am at Overwatch, everybody. Yeah. No! <laughs> that we blew up just, just like dissolved into, into the air. I got you, dude! Oh, oh no. I guess we gotta... Maybe just remember that that guy's there. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I want to say that those guys like appear back at the town. Remember, right. Remember, you know. uh, oh, no, you know what it is? It's, it's, the, it's the guy's friends. Oh, he was sobbing, right? Yeah, but now but, he'll be happy. So he's actually over to the left. Do you want to go see if the one we unlocked is in that area? Yeah, he was happy to see me when I was jumping out there. Uh, yeah, we can do that. There's a lot of map work in this game thus far. You are bad at attacking me. Boom! Oh, wow. Yeah, that does quite a bit more damage. Yeah, and that makes their bodies disappear. Which I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to look in the eyes. Yeah. You, you haven't thought of the smell! <laughs> Bitch! Oh, man. Oh, I, did, I did find an excellent um, subreddit today called The Dennis. Which is, of course, a send-up of the Donald about okay. Dennis Reynolds. Sure. Uh, highly recommended. Sure. Any and all interested parties. Uh, What's this? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we're going. Did we fall down there to begin with? I think we've already fallen down there. Whoa! 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 In all directions. Hold your horses there, buggies. Four twenty, man. Four twenty. Four twenty barnacles. Uh, you know what that means. We're getting more than one thing at the shop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 means we've acquired currency. Yeah. 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 I feel like I might as well use that. I think it gives you soul lasso too. No. No. Not quite. It's a net soul losing. Oh, I oh, killed wow. many guys in a row. Just smash them. Yeah. Okay. Still can't really figure it out. Okay. Yeah, let's go in here. Is this there's is a uh, uh, what is this? Temple of the Black Egg. Love it. Chop chop. Okay, so Wait, this... is this just mysterious and silent? Kind of yeah, it looks like this is not open yet. What do you want? What are, they, are those faces on there? They look like aliens faces or eggs or something. It's a it's I mean uh, it is a black egg. It's a, it is, yeah. yeah. It looks like a pretty big hefty black egg. This is kind of interesting because there are moments where they're like so here's like the map that we're thinking of, right? Right. right. It's expanded now, interestingly enough. Oh okay so is that do you think that we're in that little the, uh, underneath dirt mouth there's like a mound. I feel like that's probably where this is. So we're in that that middle section up at the top. Did I go to a different map really quickly? Yeah, it was kind of um, what does the map look like in here? Yeah, okay. It's just weird because you can enter spaces. The map is projected as a cube plane, right? Yeah. But you can enter spaces that are kind of on the side. Let's go down. 
Ascend. Yeah. Okay, so this is back to your mouth. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Let's see what we got. We're gonna get this. We're gonna go over here. I wanna buy some crap. Yeah. Alright. Looks like she's got her legs crossed or a big old booty on her or something. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Bafanada. She's yeah, she's quite bored. Okay, so definitely that. Yeah. And then we got enough for two more things. Bench pin, cocoon pin. Yeah, I don't know if we've seen any cocoons yet. Vendor pin. So there's more vendors. That that could be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. And then maybe the bench pin. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it. Right. And that updated our map, so... Me out here. Okay, so that'll tell us the vague area of a bench, I guess. Yeah. Right, so let's see. So maybe if you go... This is the bench, right? Yeah. And so even though we're not on this map, we know that we're at the exact position that the bench is, right? Yeah. Okay, so that updated our map, too. And how do you do the, uh... Guess... The inventory? So notches, I guess, are our inventory. Oh yeah, you can see on the right. This one costs cost one. This one costs two. Oh, okay, cool. It's a little silly, but wow, there's quite a few of these. I'll allow it. Oh, All right, there, there we go. go. That simple. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go to the stag and let's head back down to that area. Maybe. Uh, this guy. I think this is our stag. Oh wait, also that guy said he had maps to sell us. Oh yeah, let's go find him. Ah, oh, we spent all our spent all our barnacles. We did do that. Shouldn't he be with his wife? I mean, I don't want to yeah. like cause trouble or whatever. Oop. Well, we're maybe, going... maybe go up into the right. Going back yeah. in. Or maybe do you think now we can see where we are though. Yeah, that's bench, weird. bench, bench. Oh, this is our vendor friend oh, over here. Okay, you want to so go check him out? Yeah. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Oh, God damn it, Scott. It's for me. Screw me. So you got one other thing you can do is if you hold on, uh, swing your weapon up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty useful for jumping. So I think it was just straight to the left of the guy. Alright. Yeah. I think this is where Sad Boy lives. Okay, let's and also I'm interested Ooh. to see. Yeah. yeah! Got a little buddy. Oh, he's pumped! Oh, oh he's uh, hey. still Oh <laughs> yes. Money for friends. Very good. That's amazing. Alright, so I love, I love this already. I'm rewarded in my happiness and my felicity for this man, but he also gives me cash, so okay, there we go. Yeah, right? He's, he's, he's like, my friend's, one of my friends is back. Go, you go find some more? He's yeah. sad again. Do his money. Oh, do his money. This dude's nice. pumped because he's free. Yeah. Okay, so we know where that other one was, but I don't think you can get him yet. No. So if you want to pull the map and maybe see if there's anything we missed. So we went down to the left. Oh, tongue. actually, if we go straight down or to the right a little bit, it looks like there was a... Um, okay. Okay. Ah. Thing that's interesting is that there are suggestions of where rooms are on the map, but it's not. not I feel clear. like so there's two that we missed in that in that room that we're just in actually. See how on the left hand side of the wall? Uh, okay, let me take a look. There are two notches. Oh yes, you are correct. Perhaps that will reveal a secret room. Yeah, so I think it would just to go up a little bit because I saw them when we were falling down. Oh, yeah, but I definitely saw the entrance to it. I think I can make that. There was also a uh, platform just a slightly higher that you could probably get to. Yeah, that's, that is kind of cool, really. I also like that it does not When you absolutely positively have to kill oh, yeah. it. Oh, there's something right there, too. Yeah, let's go check. Whoa, this looks nice. This is yeah. verdant. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Pilgrim's Way. Okay, so this appears to be going towards another area now. Yes. We'll pull them up and see what we got. Oh, oh what? Alright, we're just gonna let you be grumpy over there. Okay, so, so we don't have a map of this. Space. Right, so the quill is what lets us uh, open up that area, so we gotta get to a bench before we go. Oh, crap. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Okay, so we know that that's an area. Let's check it with the. Right, in fact, is first. it Mark? No, but we'll see. Well, I I'm sure we'll get it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this appears to be Yeah, space. let me in. I, I really like it that you have to go back to a bench to 
Right. Is that like soul power that I just got? It's okay. Okay. Well, this is tricky. Oh. I bet that a jump ability will come in handy there in a little yeah. bit. Oh, and I bet it uses soul. Yeah. It's like a soul. That's the, giving us the, that option there. Well, let's go blast that dude up at the top and go left. Okay. Last to do to the top. Oh, th that was the same monster that we fought for the shaman. So right. He just needed to be opened up before you could hit him. With your, uh, okay. So you think we should beat him? Yeah. Yeah, we'll beat him. I mean, I'm pleased with your confidence in my abilities. Yes. I don't know the they machine. They want to heal up a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, the way he worked was he'd shoot out the blobs and then shoot out the dudes you could get your soul back. Well, I'll tell you, I know that you didn't get a chance to play on the controller, but this is a fun and rewarding game in the sense that uh, uh, the controls handle well. Yeah. On this. On this. Not too bad. So, yeah, if you get too close to him, he won't do anything but hit him. When you get away, he'll hit him. Uh, so I have to shoot him? Yeah, so he'll throw out his blood. Like so many other times that we play video games, this is probably end up with you guys to solve the part of the boss. Nice. Oh my god, no. Don't die. Jump in the lava? <laughs> don't jump in the lava. So is this maybe one of the hot springs that we're trying to find? Yeah, we don't know. We don't have the quill for this area, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't like how the little grass shot up in the air. Yeah. Well, this is a nice little uh, green space, though. Yeah, uh, I will point out again that the use of color is accentuated by the default. I'm going to use the term desaturated. I know that's probably incorrect, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I would say de like desaturated is, is not exactly good, but it's not Ooh, yeah, get out of your pillow. <laughs> oh, I love that you just break stuff too. I don't know why, but that makes the game feel so much more real. We're kind of like, oh. Okay, cool. Ah. Okay, so this is, we have to unlock the map of this. So the guy will probably be here. He's probably here. Yeah. yeah. He, we know he's not with his hot wife, which makes me, I don't know, I got some questions to ask about that. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh, hey. whoa. Hey, dude. Come on. Come at me like a man. Oh, Rejected, you are completely correct. That looks like a rejected Pokemon over there. <laughs> oh! Oh, goodness! Alright, the timing on that. Well, as. Oh. Did I. What happened there? Oh, shit. Oh, my soul is broken. Okay. Elder Bug? Did, um, did our map get updated with the new stuff? Oh, I guess we can. Is there another version of this map? Yeah, I felt like there was. Maybe check the controls and see if you can. I've had it up here with controls, let me tell you that. <laughs> Alright, let's go down to the controller. Because I've been pressing quick map. Quick map, okay, so what's the full map? What's map map? <laughs> yeah, oh, if you go to the inventory, I've had it all, I'll show you the full map. Okay. We can try that, I guess. Let's see. And then go to the left or right. Zoom in. Ah, okay. I see. Okay, so the, the, the double dots there are, I guess, indicating a thing we don't have a map for yet. Hide key. Oh, okay. Um, well, King's Pass, do you want to go over here? Do you want to go back down here? That was, that was where we came from. Maybe we should go down to the right, it looks like. Uh, uh, Forgotten Crossroads down here? Yeah. 
Well, I guess that's the name of that one area. Oh, and we can. Well, we lost all our barnacles. Look oh. at that. That's the that's the downside of How dying right did there. Did they take our barnacles? Right. right. Take our lives, but you'll never take our barnacles. Ding dong, dingle dangle. Yes. Oh my God, I love this guy. He is the best. Dima. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Now we're gonna gallop. Yes! Dude. That's not really how. That's funny because it's a mal malappropriate. It's not how uh, insects move, but it's supposed to be a horse. So yeah. it, that's how a horse moves. Right, so yeah. it's galloping. Yeah. Galloping stag. Did I get my soul back? It's broken. <laughs> I feel shame. Alright, so. Let's put that quick map. Alright, so we can probably just scooch over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're actually fairly close. Up, and get your sign posts go up here with this guy. Yeah. You want to go down? No. Birdies. I'm a, I'm a hollow knight in my prime. Okay, so that fills you up about halfway. That's good to know. Didn't even need it. I didn't, teach I didn't even watch your barnacles. So this is maybe another new area we can go in. Yeah, I have a feeling this one. It's again, the game rewards you for paying attention to the map, which is really fun. Well, and I, I feel like we'll be able to tell where he is because he'll have a little bit on his. Similar to Cass from uh, Yeah, exactly. Would you like to hear about how everything in life reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Brother? Even sex. Uh, <laughs> you're like, don't don't tell me that. Yeah, sorry. So, sorry. Go into my philosophy. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you that. I'm not that for a minute. <laughs> Oh, I have sent you some pretty uh, pretty spicy Rule 34 material oh for my God. the whole Legend of Zelda stuff. The, uh, what's the... the Foot fetish, yeah, uh, Urbosa, yeah, the, Gerudo. The, the, right? the Gerudo, yeah. Just, just a lot of Gerudo porn, really. I think, I don't know, I have such a weird... I think that I'm very sexually conservative personally, but I am sincerely fascinated by the depths of perversion that are enabled by oh, the internet. Yeah, people are fucking weird. Oh, there's a little dude. Oh, but I want to love you! But you gotta, like, super dash over those or something. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, that's a quick cast. Oh, there's like a tap. Uh, yeah. Tap. Okay, well, that's good to know. My bad. No, that's, that's good to know because that makes it easier to probably fire them off if you're jumping or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because I think you can only put one spell at a time. Yeah. See what he did. Oh, he's got a little shield. Oh, okay. This guy's better at fighting than me. Whoa. Okay, so he attacks forward. I bet, I bet you can. You just gotta dodge his thing. So right. let him attack and then and then hit him if you're gonna see more of those dudes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole. Audio cues are strong. I like that. Yeah. Let's go find the little buddy. We can both agree that our heart was warm, but oh, dude, this game so far is all about yeah. yeah. I don't really care about the forgotten civilization or the ancient city. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's flavor. The Parisian catacombs. I'm, I'm in it for the worms. Yeah, it's flavor for saving the worms. Oh, there's a switch. Yeah. Oh, we do have a map. We're back here. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, well, so we just unlocked that thing. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I want to zoom in and see. Can you zoom in any further? No. no so this is a little obnoxious because the compass is our enemy now. I want to see if there's hidden stuff and it feels like our head is kind of... Oh, I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. But we can go here. Whoop. L-U. So... Um, oh, no, wait, we were, we, I want to get that worm, too. Yeah, so it must have been down, or maybe some behind a wall or something. Yeah. All the audio That was... Ooh, 
Okie dokie. Jump. Okay. I wonder if I can illuminate with this. Spikes. <laughs> Describe that it's an unsolved problem. Yeah, okay, let's go down. So it, it will sort of map out some areas, and then the, the cartographer dude will give us a general sense. Yeah, the of cartographer's it. drawing is not as good as our own drawing that right. we get when we explore. Right. right. Okay, so I have a feeling that the worm is somewhere hidden behind right. the wall. Yeah. And I think I have an idea where, so jump up. Okay. So that's good to know that we can uh, hear those guys. Yeah. Well, um, you can hear the other, the map maker too. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let's um, let's uh, continue down one of those hallways, I guess. Which so, way? Okay. If we can uh, watch out for that button. If you go to the right here. Oh, this is the dark spooky that's area. That's the dark one, right? So we don't want to go there. Uh, but maybe if you go down to the right. This yeah. One? This one. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, this. Was God damn it, Scott. Slot. Let's take a look at the old inventory. Uh, we got charms. Those are not applicable. No. Map and quill. I don't think we can put that in there. City crests. Fit into a slot. Yeah. So here's what I'm saying. Maybe I take this guy. How do I... Wait. There was a hold thing for the... Go to the map and quill. Hold LB. Oh, no. That's just the... Okay. Maybe... 
don't think I can put this here. Can, I? can you put it at the door with the glass? What is that bad thing right there? This guy? Yeah, it looks like a mailbox. Hmm. Maybe the, the crest that we have isn't for this one. Maybe there's a different crest. It's possible. Like an elevator crest or something like that. Yeah, I don't think it's really hiding, hiding it from us. Okay, so let's see what else we can get. I got a bench to the right. I'm gonna go hop on this bench over here. Oh, snail! Or is that no? That's the uh, cartographer. Uh, Let me. Here we can work that up there. We How can, can you do this to me? Is it too Oh crap! That's Jimmy's horny. judge people for their living so oh look at this guy he's kind of oh Tyler. oh you oaf oh whoop -a. I'm sly okay oh so we're kind of freeing him to be back in the okay, city as sweet. well then mas you got anything for me oh okay so he'll he... probably sell me a weapon upgrade yeah later. He, yeah that's that's cool that's good to know Okay, so I guess we like unlock more dudes in the pub town and we get to upgrade our weapon and yeah. our life level. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Smashy smashy. Okay, Maybe so. Maybe this will open up too. It looks like another hobble. Smash it all. Where are we on the map right now? Right here. I'm not. Oh, we came on the other direction of this. This was. Was this one of the bosses? Um, we just came from this place. Yeah, that's where we came from. I want to see if I can get to this map yeah, maker. Yeah, what is going on, right? Gotta be able to get to that guy. That bench is like fancy. I know. Oh, I want it. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Anybody in the chat have any suggestions on how to solve these problems? Feel free to let me know. <laughs> we're we're yeah we're waiting with bated breath right to get tips and tricks from the uh, the hug below of our chat. Nope, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Exactly one. Shot. Exactly one. Yeah. Okay, so what is that? It looks like um another city of some sort. It's kind of look like buildings or ghosts. Maybe? I don't know. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Well, we can't get in there. How much is cool? This definitely reminds me of Touch right now, that with like all these like locked off areas. Yeah, sure, sure. Do you think we'll get to turn into a boss? <laughs> uh, no, it's owned by Nintendo. Ah, okay. They've got the patent on turning into a ball. Turning into a, a, a ball of energy. Well, certainly if they had the patent, it'd be in a much better financial position than just merely having the artistic representation of the idea. Yeah, right. Uh, I think this is our stag beetle. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, friend. Alright, we're going. <laughs> you wanna try with the control? Yeah. Or you know what? We've actually been casting for a little over hour. Why don't we take a, a break? We can come back and like <laughs> Okay. Um let's uh let's just go get to the um the bench. I'm into it. Oh wow, the buttons on the back of the controller lets you do the, the main actions as well. Yeah. Okay, oh. there we go. So, okay, and we got a new map. What was the, the full map button? So you have to go to uh, select right. there, yes, okay. and then it's like the trigger button. So you go to left and right. Okay. So there's A. All right. So, okay. So there's some sort of elevator tunneling thing over there. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So then the, 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 the thing we just saw that we couldn't get into is definitely some sort of elevator. So it looks like we might be able to get it from that side. Yeah. And then yeah, we unlock that new dude who can. Also with our weapons, which I feel like will come in handy. All right, um, you want to take a quick break? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Eight seventeen at present. We're gonna take ten minutes and we'll be back and um, play some more Hollow Knight. Yeah. In the interim, have a lovely evening. You know what? I'm gonna leave the bench up. It looks good.
right, the Ledger cast is back online, as back, always. So uh, this is Scott Kane. And this is Matt Hooks. And again, tonight we're playing a game called Hollow Knight, which is this rather haunting and beautiful little platformer adventure game. Uh, went into this one, as explained at the top of the cast, basically blind on critical reception. That was the idea. I had heard it was good from yeah. people that I trust. Yeah, I'd heard the name, but I hadn't seen a single screenshot or anything of it. I'm going to say I'm enjoying it immensely. It's, um, it's fantastic. So far, I'm hooked. Yeah, it's... <laughs> wait, you're hooks. Yes, I'm right. hooks. I'm my, my name's... What, we're going off script! <laughs> <laughs> It is an exciting, it's an exciting, oh, here's yeah, our like buddy. Yeah. Devo lame mas. Devo lame mas. Trinkets, huh? I'm in the market for a trinket. <laughs> the most you're saying it's interesting. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so, um, it, so many times when you approach an item of media, when it's, when you're burdened with expectation, right, um, it underwhelms, because how can anything ever live up to the vague idea of goodness, right? Like, there's art is always particular in its goodness, whereas reviews always seem to be very general in them, where it's like, yeah, it's a good film, all right, well, mm -hmm. what the fuck does that mean? So this guy's got a bunch of garbage. Uh, actual garbage? Uh, I don't know. Uh, obviously, it does something, but I'm not sure what it does. And it's also very expensive. Like, look at this. Ooh. Oh. Light your way through the thickest darkness. I like that. I think these are just charms. Some of them definitely are. Yeah. What is very swarm. Oh, this guy gathers the geo automatically. I like that one a lot. That we should really get good. that sooner than later just because it'll it's increase our, uh, our passive gathering. You know? Yeah, exactly. This one needs to escape. This is a lantern. So this one is just some random rancid egg. I feel like this will come in handy at some point, but I don't think we need to buy these things right away. Love to buy um, let's go see what we can get on the other guy, just see if anything new is there. Okay. Before we make any hasty decisions. We do have to figure out how to dash. That seems to be like it's going to be such a <sighs> good Blue cocoons. So we can get one of these in the rancid egg if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Um, um, should we do... The stackways are pretty straightforward. Yeah, we kind of know where they are. Yeah, so far that's that's been the most obvious well, thing. That's how you get there and how you get out. So let's let's go with this. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see. I mean, it's probably some type of uh, uh, additional collectible. In fact, maybe those fellas that we love, the little worms, are the cocoons. Oh, there's a cocoon. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Um, also, I'll buy that egg really quick. Yeah. You just eat it and get sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, glorious end. You see Saffron. Oh Lord. god, the, the the best part was he played against a new perspective deck first, and right. I just waited yeah. to trigger it. I was like, wow, that is that's some that's some deep level next level shit right there. He's a dirty man. Yeah, He's a dirty man. Uh, for those who have no idea what we're talking about, uh, we're talking about magic. Get your shit together. Yeah. Oh, can't get back to that, huh? Huh. Yeah, it's too tall. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, there's there's a particularly funny combo deck in Magic the Gathering that has just come into the like larger game as a whole. And if you get it to go off, you basically win the game. Yeah, it's what I... For anyone who enjoys Magic at all, they'll understand this term. It's kind of an alternate win-con kind of game where, I mean, technically you're winning because you're able to cast like all these... These, these two spells, in particular, Approach of the Second Sons, which, like a lot of really weird Magic the Gathering spells, ends with the text, you win the game. Yeah. And then it's just some absurd set of conditions before it. Uh, and anyways, this combo deck that Matt is referencing is played by Saffron Olive, and then he played against it while he was kind of streaming his new Glorious End deck, and because of the nature of the extremely niche card that he was featuring, he was able to completely fizzle the fizzler. I don't know, it's just kind of amusing. It, yeah, it was It was just kind of a funny little combo, and he and he has this infectious laugh. Yes. Um, and it just, the, the game was always gets me. I would impersonate it, but I feel like that would be disrespectful, and I legit love Seth, probably no, better known as Saffron Olive. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not gonna do him dirty like that. Ooh, we can explore to the left here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a great idea. So, this is the armadillo, I think, right? I think, yeah, it's the comeback. It's not. No, okay. 
I, I honestly thought that it would have. So if we, I guess if we had gone there first, it might have been difficult to kill that guy. I just made that. In fact, you couldn't have killed the armadillo without the shooty guy. That's correct. So we are following some progressive order of skills or abilities mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good, uh, Ooh. a good... Don't you love that when you start to touch and feel the logic of a game and you can kind of oh, pull it this up guy. Oh, this is like fucking... Is that a ghost? That's where we died, bro. Oh, so now our oh, soul cool. meter is back. So, oh, okay. What was... Was there a downside to having the... The, the, the broken soul meter? I couldn't tell what it was. No, I don't think so. Maybe no, so we got our money back. Oh. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If right. The, yeah, if that, the, if the ledger cast loves anything, it loves the value. Music in this game is fantastic. Um, in fact, I, I mentioned at the top of the cast uh, how, like a lot of other indie platforms that are being released right now, they're releasing the soundtrack along with the game for people with it, which I love as a... It's just so fucking smart to do that. The, you know? the, the way I think about it is that, it, like a lot of other you know, information goods or products, largely costless to replicate and right. then to publish, not publish, but to sell to an individual, if you can exploit every possible level of interest or willingness to pay for a creative product, that's the way to do it. In fact, this is actually what goes to the root of the price discrimination issue and information that I was talking about the other day. It's, here's the way that I think about it. I have spent too much of my life playing Civilization, the series, and as much as I, I probably... That, that too much like at what point were you like all right that's too much i mean i remember being like i don't know 10 and my dad would come in and be like scott you cannot play this game anymore. you know what i mean it's been hours this, I, this... Ooh, bench i definitely got that with everquest yeah um no, I'm not really sure, yeah. yeah we got to get the uh, the nerd first right? oh that's right I can't even look at well yeah do with it dude Uh, anywho, oh, I'm what? Just hearing people outside your, door, your, your window. I was like, what am I hearing? <laughs> Somebody whispering. Yeah, all the all the glories and, and benefits of the uh, you know garden apartment. Yeah. Oh, one thing you didn't mention is the music that we were playing before we got on the cast. Who uh, who had that? Oh, right the Scott King original. Oh, over really? there. Let me tell you. Uh, largely because we're trying to avoid copyright uh, issues. We, we, the first video that we ever did got pulled because we I was playing my Spotify in the back. Yeah, that's that's a big loss. Of your life. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, it's funny. I practice in comedy, right? It's absolutely how they deal with those types of oh, things. Oh, yeah. They you know what I mean? Like get everything, you know, and just say nope. I think that maybe in my night, I don't know, my childish naivete, I was thinking, no one's watching this. And then, like, of course, what actually happens is the video itself is, like, scrubbed or analyzed. Oh, yeah. I mean? Yeah, I'm sure YouTube has had to provide some sort of API uh, application protocol or application program interface. Yeah. Um, that just allows the content holders or the, or the lawyer yeah. uh, just like blanket everything. Yeah, so a lot of this grows out of the goodness, let me see if I can recite this correctly. Digital Millennial Copyright Act, the DMCA. DMCA yeah. Yeah. And this was kind of an attempt to bring in Title 17 to the 21st century. It didn't really get there in any meaningful way. But I do know that it requires that in order to avoid vicarious copyright infringement liability, ISPs have to, I'm sorry, no, publishing. Um, publishing, not, not yeah. ISPs. Right, exactly, yeah, and ISPs are exempt, but hosts of materials are terrible. Well. well, yeah, certainly, they wouldn't have the ability to even monitor it. It wouldn't be a cost-effective enterprise to get into, right? Yeah. That'd be analogous to say, you know, like the, you can own or you know run a road, but only if you guarantee that no one does it. You know, it's right. like good luck. What'd you do? Yeah. There we go. Oh, clever boy! I didn't even, I didn't even realize I was there. I was just jumping on it to see if I could get up, and then I, uh, oh, I could probably kill that guy. What like that? All this chatter about. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, so I guess like kind of relating this all back is the idea of selling the soundtrack attached with the game 
requires 30 minutes of work by someone who has than I am. You know, just finding a way to input it into Steam. They've already got the files. Presumably, they either have a license or have assigned the right to sell the soundtrack with the game by virtue of their deal with the composer or whatever. Yeah. The fact that people take the time to give that option, it just must be a great return. It costs them nothing, and nerds will self-segregate on a price discriminatory basis for like I was saying with Civ, I just, I'm willing to pay whatever for it. It's yeah. always worth the money, given my weird fascination and obsession with this game. I mean, also, it's just, I feel like it's just a weird I mean, yeah, absolutely. it's the whole beast, you know, like, to sell everything I can. Especially if it's something that's just been essentially found in the art, you know, like, video games, like, it's, it's, oh, hell yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's like, this, this kind of stuff, like, it just exists digitally. It's so easy to replicate. You want to get as much of it into people's hands. Yeah, it's an artistic product too, so if people enjoy it, there's really no arguing with it. Oh! Oh! Nice. These levels are pretty large. Yeah, this is definitely This definitely makes me want to get a, uh, a map very quickly. I, this is the third time I think I've brought it up tonight, but. This game, like Breath of the Wild, makes exploration kind of a fun and challenging and interesting part of the game. Yeah, you know? I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about spikes in this more than I am in uh, Zelda, but <laughs> um, so far so good. And you can kind of get... Ooh, I think there's something to the right up there. Yeah, there's spikes, watch out. Yeah, okay, so that was where we Whoa! That was dope. Okay. Oh, our buddy! Yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah! What's up? Later! We'll see you later, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That makes me so... Go order yeah. some three chili chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be over yeah. later. See you soon, boo. Next week on the Legend Cast, we have to do some new... Oh, I'm not following that check. What check? Maybe she just, like, ninja it out from nowhere. Shit! You I missed, missed it. it. You missed ah. it. Ah. I, I was sitting and addressing my friend, looking him in the eyes, instead of staring at a glowing rectangle, yeah. as I should be spending every moment of my life. <laughs> Do you ever feel uh, a little weird out by the glowing rectangle thing? Okay, sure. That's a very uh, to the point kind of answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, don't talk about my god like that. I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to dress it up for you, huh? That's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, there's a. Uh, I think there's some barn. Yeah. A uh, visually arresting game in addition to sonically beautiful. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You're almost dead, homie. Go heal your. Go heal your pops up. It's great uh, and not uh, overbearing visual cue when you're down to your last unit of health. You yeah, know? it's like sort of just sort of comes in on you a little bit. Right. You know, it's strange to see. Observation. Corruption, maybe. It's just a visual cue of bad guy right now. But I'm trying to read into like the story of it. Is our character alive? Do you think? Or is our character dead and killing things? Do you know what I mean? Like, ooh shit. Get out. You better heal me. Oh, that's the that's the ninja? Yeah. This is a little bit like uh, Sheikah from Legend of Zelda, or also the big sister from Bioshock 2. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys ever saw that one. Um, I played that very, oh, there she is. very briefly, but I don't really remember that game. I remember the more recent Bioshock. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which was pretty good. I'm not a fan, but I, I came into that one with some pretty high hopes. It's an arresting game. It's gorgeous in a million different ways. Um, yeah, the story was okay. I don't know. I just feel like... What's that developer's name? Ken... Ken... Levin? Ken Levine? I can't remember. I feel bad for the guy. Because he made something beautiful and then he had to do it again. You know? Oh, hell yeah. We seem to have a lot of rocks. Oh, yeah. So... 
So this is what I'm saying, you look like you're dead, like you're a demon or something, you know? Oh, that is nice. So the, uh, they do auto-save you when you send them the bench. Yeah, I'm not too far away from that. Uh, and I guess I gotta go back there if I want any hope of getting my money back. Yeah, go fight that dude, you can probably figure that out. Yeah, it was tricky because he's got that shield. I was hoping that guy would sell some fucking armor. Uh, but no dice. Yeah. Man, the timing on this is tricky. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this guy too, because he like... Right, right. Also, like, just as far as I can. Well, you were talking, I think, briefly earlier about the fact that there is the, uh... I don't know, I'm gonna use the term, like, kickback. Yeah. Recoil, maybe is a good yeah, word for it. Yeah, you don't see that often in games. In fact, it's like, um... Maybe just realizing that it's there makes you realize it always should be. You know what I mean? You can't strike something without oh. being just pushed back. Direction. Oh shoot him! I think I want to just go get. My oh, you're gonna take. Down. You're gonna go. You're gonna go try to beat this dude. Uh, yeah, because um, well, I want to get the course back because that's our money, right? Yeah. Um, and then I think if I time my shots right, I should be able to. I just I, I went into that battle with no soul and no not for life. Right. Solar the resource is pretty dope, but they have... I guess a comic book artist when I was very young. I think I'm very much like a lot of young men in that way. Yeah, like, sure, sure. But hearing games like this just makes me so happy that there's someone out there who's writing such beautiful, entrancing music for such beautiful, entrancing games. It's a good time to be alive. Oh, this is that tool I was talking about. What is this tool? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the cocoon stuff. That right? music is dope too. Yeah. Okay, that's great for that boss. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna head up a little bit. Oh, oh inspect it. Uh, okay. Uh, it might just be lore. We don't know. Yeah. Um, also, it might just indicate like there's a boss nearby or something. Like that. Yeah. Ooh, shit. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at how 
make any decisions on how to present the game. Oh shit! Gosh, bitch! That was very well played. That was awesome. Okay, so you can fight up and down. That's good. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, that actually made that last hit pretty easy. Okay. Have you been studying the way of the nail ball to the to the path? Uh, you know, I had uh, I had a really good teacher uh, in yeah. college, and yeah. so like I dabbled. He wasn't like other teachers. He smoked. Yeah. Were you friends with any of your professors in college? Oh yeah, um, one of my uh, little professors, the one who wanted to teach uh, theater. Oh, in New York. Yes, um, sir. I was best friends with all my professors. They just didn't know it. You know, like it was like uh, they acted like I creeped them out, and that was weird. But they, we were like, we talked all the Super time. Super tight. I, I can tell. But uh, I remember meeting that one in that gas the other day. Yeah, Professor Shokan. <laughs> I still insist on addressing him by that title oh, yeah. because it bothers him immensely. Oh, yeah, because you know? it's fun. Yeah, that's because that's what friends do. Right? That's what best friends do, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was an excellent professor. Pretty good uh, Pretty good professors at that Northwestern University School of Law. Yeah, that's true. And you know, my diploma doesn't have the name Pritzker on it. Well known for their professor. <laughs> Uh, it would be kind of funny if you uh, were at some cocktail party and someone's like, what do you do? And you kind of under your breath said, uh, professor, and you try to sound like professor. And like, did you say professor? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I go, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Um, I would imagine a professor is doing my... For the particularly devout Catholic, some of the you know. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh, it's hard to jump over him. That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. Read that dude though. Maybe he'll give us some help. That would be nice. Um, that's one of the few times that we've seen someone who looks like us. Did you notice that that guy had a mask, right? Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the different roles or types of creatures in this game play. And it's fun because I don't think I'm going to be given a concrete answer, and I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, so far I feel like uh, really pretty on point with like, like little bugs, sell shit. Yeah, snails are giving us free advice about things. Yeah, spells. I got a beetle horse. Oh man. I bet I can do more faster. Yes, you can. Okay. That, that is what we do. <laughs> They say you can't run from your problems, but here I am. Yeah. What's that, uh, from, um, from Rick and Morty, the episode with, uh, the legally safe Freddy Krueger ripoff? Oh, yeah. Scary, Scary Terry. I'm coming for you, bitch. bitch. Um, goodness, I remember that, uh, what were, what were we just talking about a moment ago? Oh, I'm trying to recall. Pardon me. Anyways, I just love that Scary Terry, uh, kind of talking about copyright infringement. Oh, yeah. Just matters along those lines. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, and also, in that episode, you know, he keeps yelling, You can run, but you can't, bitch. And then Morty's like, No, I don't know, if you keep saying that, so maybe I can. And then they just win by hiding. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, dude. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so we've got the like, second Yeah. What up, boy? Akala, eh, man? See, he's proud, he's too proud. I know this, Kerr. I am Zoth the Mighty, a knight of great renown. 
Life Ender, huh? Okay. Uh, you know, me a beast. Last egg for all my nails. Alright, so we got some, uh... Yeah, I gotta get those barnacles for sure. Well, I'm trying to think what's the plan now? You gotta find the map. Yeah, and it's, it's killing me that we don't have a map for this place yet. Oh, whoa! Oh, look at that little guy. He's actually very small. Very clever. of the feeling of satisfaction that you have in Zelda is that you see things in a social context that are out of order and then make it right, you know? This is really shit out. What are you doing? Fucking nailing that. What? What is... What? Wanderer's Journal. You're getting... Get out of there, dude. You're getting killed. Alright, heal, heal yourself or you're gonna die. Okay, I think you got a new one of the charms, though. So why don't you see if you yeah. can that? take this uh, this opportunity to call it a night okay. because I'm enjoying playing this immensely, but I gotta wrap it up. I think this will be a fun one to come back to too. You know? Absolutely. I'm drawn in, I'm excited, it's very visually yeah, arresting. Sold. I know I keep reusing that word. So how do you feel about the word hypnotic? Like I feel like this game is something that it's just very yeah. easy to fall into. Yeah, the music definitely helps with that. I feel like it's it, the, the, <clears throat> some of the areas feel like kind of lullabies. Right. I think one of the, there is a, an escapist element to video games too, where the the game itself is just so comprehensively composed that it feels like it makes sense, so it's comforting. Oh, you know, like, right? Not this don't. game, I think, accomplishes that wonderfully. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I guess he didn't want that crap. No. Okay, so that person, so that must be some sort of historian we get to talk to. Yeah. Oh, oh here's a dope. Nah, oh, me too. I'm skulking about in the shadows. I'm so the mighty. Okay. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna see him again now. Yeah. Okay, we've got 358. I feel like maybe we should buy that thing. Well, so if we do, if we do buy this thing, we don't have the. Uh, yeah, we have limited slots, right? right? Yeah. Which is rough. Gathering Swarm 300. Star Wars shell. More time to recover after taking damage. Okay, let's see what else the girl has. You mean the map items, right? Yeah. Is it going to close this out? Well, I don't think I've learned anything today. It's that this game is all about completing those maps so you can see where you're actually going. Yeah. You might as well buy it, all these guys. Yeah, let's go for it. I feel like you've been pretty good about picking up barnacles. 
I'll tell you, I do want to get the easier gather one. That passive bonus will just be great. And the yeah, it's moves. definitely very useful. Alright, well, why don't we save up? We can exit out. Um, final thoughts on Hollow Knight? Um, two thumbs up on this so far. Yeah, I want to come back to it. Why don't we play it again next time? Yeah, I think show. that's a good idea. Yeah. Alright, let's put out of this guy. Uh, if I can figure out the buttons. There you go. Progress will be saved. Yep, so very positive impression from me. Um, like I said, always hard to kind of chase a claim because it's very easy to get your expectations up and then you're kind of crestfallen or hurt afterwards. Sure. This is something I followed entirely off of a claim from other people, knowing almost nothing about the game or the studio that developed it. Apparently it's three guys I looked them up beforehand. Jeez, um, only three guys that put this together? I don't know if it was only, oh, okay, but okay. Uh, there are three people featured on the website. Oh, okay. Uh, but this is definitely one of those circumstances where a claim was right to follow as a game trail. I feel like I'm, I'm in an abundance right now. Yeah, this is nice. This is quite fun. Awesome. Well, thanks as always for listening to us here at The Ledger. Until next time, I'm Scott King. And I'm Adams. Have a good evening.